Hey Jump Minions, Jar Warlock here, and on today's episode we have a brand new box. Yes, today's video will feature Super Loot, a box I have never got round to unboxing before. And it seems like an opportune time because they've just been taken over by new owners. I do not know what the theme is, but apparently there didn't used to be a theme, but the new owners have decided to implement themes. But I don't know what it is, so we'll work it out as we go along. What they have said is that they're going to try and get more exclusives in the box, add random bonus items to certain boxes, and have about £40 worth of value. Which seems good, but we will be the judge of that. So let's see what we get with the first item. And the first item is... Looks like a Vegas sign, but I could be very wrong. What is this? Oh, there are people out there who don't like mashups and don't like things being melded together. I do like it when it's done in a clever way, very much like this. The reason I thought it was Vegas is because that is a very Vegas-like sign, but it is in fact, welcome, Canto Bite, Cantonica. I don't know if I've said those words right. Who knows? It's a made-up word, but it is from Star Wars, and I think, from what I've read, it will appear in The Last Jedi, and it's supposed to be a casino city or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Correct me in the comments. I don't know, but I'm going to say Canto Bite. But that is cool. I like it. It's simple, but it stands out. At first you think, oh, Vegas. Then you think, oh, Star Wars reference. I also recognize this writing here, but I don't know what it says. So if you do, let me know. But I recognize it because when I was at Disneyland Paris, they had it on one of the Star Wars rides. All the screens had this writing and then it flipped over and it translated to English, so maybe that's just the Star Wars version of what's written there. I don't know, but I like it. It's simple, but it's effective. And as always, about a ten. But let's move on with more items, and we'll grab a pen. It's Funko. Of course, it's Funko because they do everything. It's it's just a pen. Funko are doing random pens now, but it has like a tiny little miniature Funko person on the top, and this one is Kylo Ren. That's quite nice. I like the Kylo Ren design on the top of the pen. Oh, it just completely comes off. Is that supposed to happen? I don't know. But that is a nice little design. Actually, that's very well designed, very well colored, and actually kind of cool. I would prefer that, just not on the pen. I know Funko do like miniature hero things, and I don't know what they're called. Are they called miniature heroes? Who knows? Let me know. But he does look like one of them. That's kind of cool. And I want to see where Kylo Ren's story goes because he's always got that pull to the light side and he's not as calm and collected as Vader was. So it could be interesting to see where that goes. Still, it's a pen. It's not the most amazing thing you're ever gonna see in a box. And a pen is what, 50p? But this is a Funko pen, so probably two to three quid because Funko. Okay, so item three, and it appears to be, I think this is a Funko for what I can feel. It is indeed a Funko and it is The Last Jedi and it's Poe Dameron. What they said about this box is they are going to be including Funkos in every single box, which is interesting because some boxes include them occasionally, some not at all. This one, they were occasional, but now they want to put them in permanently, which is kind of cool because it does add to the value. And of course, we have Poe Dameron. So the first time we see Poe Dameron is in The Force Awakens, and he's obviously going to appear in The Last Jedi, I'm guessing he's going to be like a proper main character. Very charismatic, looks kind of cool. I wasn't mad on him when I first saw him in the film, but when I rewatched it, he was actually kind of good. And he is just a ridiculously good pilot, X-Wing fighter, just like, what? He's basically the Han Solo of the new series. At least that's what I think they're trying to get at, kind of thing. Just maybe not with the ego. Loads of them you can get on the back. Rey, Finn, Poe Dameron, Luke Skywalker, Kylo Ren, Chewbacca, BB-8, Rose, Porg, Supreme Leader Snook. Praetorian Guard, First Order Executioner, and BB-9E. Out of the box, that's actually a very good likeness of Poe Dameron. That's Oscar Isaacs who plays him, but it's it's very good. Usually, I think some Funkos just look too generic, but the fact they've done the hair with so much detail and care, that's actually really good. The face, everything about that actually does look like Poe Dameron to me. That is very cool. I like the fact they're on stands. I wish more Funkos had stands, and of course, if you don't, you can just take it off, which is fair enough. He's wearing his jacket, which is rather nice, but not as cool as the jacket that Finn stole off him. It's well detailed, it's very nicely painted, I can't see any mistakes or anything. Holding a blaster, I like that, that's a nice little addition to the, the collection. I wouldn't say it's anything amazing, but I like it, because it does actually look like the character. 
which a lot of them lack. So Funko Pop, not a bad item to find in a box. We still have more items and we'll continue with coasters. Feel the Force, The Last Jedi. Coasters seem to be really popular. I mean, I'm not sure if they're popular, but they're popular with boxes at least. I'm going to open this up and see which ones we have. Because sometimes... Ooh. Actually, these look rather nice. Okay, so these are a little thinner than I thought they were going to be, and they're dual-sided, which I don't really like, but I preferred just the one side. But the actual characters, on one side we have Rey, the Jedi-powered scavenger, and on the other we have Kylo Ren, Mr. Semi-Evil himself. I'm loving the way these have been painted, though. They are very cool. Praetorian Guard, who looks like a samurai. And I'm guessing Rose, who I know nothing about. A First Order Trooper, who still can't shoot straight. And conveniently, Finn, a former First Order Trooper, who possibly can shoot straight. Captain Phasma, who looks like she's got a very cool scene with Finn in the next film. Everyone's new favourite droid, BB-8. Luke Skywalker himself, who actually looks better now that he's older. Mr. Evil himself, Snook Doggy Dog. The Hairy Wookiee himself, Chewbacca. This bloke who I don't remember the name of and hated from the first film. The Porgs, who people seem to be going mad over. There's so many toys and things of them, it's insane. Poe Dameron, probably now the best pilot in the galaxy. R2-D2, who had virtually no role whatsoever in The Force Awakens. And C-3PO, who had a bit of a role in The Force Awakens. So the coasters, nice designs, just not great coasters. We have another item. Oh, had one before. It was okay. It's a Death Trooper key light. So there you go. It lights up, goes sort of a flashy green. Might be useful in the dark now this winter. Who knows? And probably useful to have a torch in your keys just in case. The Death Troopers, of course, we saw in Rogue One, they're just like elite stormtroopers, but kind of cool. Still, it's a keyring, and even I'm a bit mm, on keyrings. Something else? Oh, Super Loot. Yeah, so the theme was essentially Star Wars. So that was our very first Super Loot box, and it was Star Wars themed. Not a bad thing. Let's see what we got. A Rogue One Death Trooper light up keyring. Not a bad item. Not a great item. Coasters. And I love the designs on the coasters. I love the artwork. The artwork on them is superb. And I kind of wish they were done one each and not on each back and so thin. If they were thicker and on one on each coaster, you could probably frame them, put them on a wall, something like that. And they'd look kind of awesome. A Funko pen. I wouldn't be impressed with a pen, but I'm actually impressed with the little mini Funko on the top. I don't really care about this bit. This bit is kind of nice. Still, it's a pen. Poe Dameron Funko Pop. Very cool. Interesting character. Want to see where they go with it. And the fact that there's a Funko Pop now in every box is a win. And the t-shirt. I really like the t-shirt. The sort of Vegas inspired Star Wars crossover. I think that's very cool. I very much like that. That is a decent t-shirt. Okay, so my guess monetary wise for all this stuff, I'd say. Tenner for the t-shirt. Tenner for the pop. Three for the keyring thing. Three for the coasters. Maybe two for the pen. That's... About £33-ish, and they say the box is about £40 worth. So it's not far off. I know they're trying to get better, and they're making more and more stuff. But for a first box, I don't think it's terrible. The t-shirt was good. The pop was good. That's probably the value of the box. And you can also get your first box for £16.99. So it's a win if it's your first box. The coasters aren't bad. I don't like the pen, although I do like the pop on the top. And the keyring is just a keyring. I want to know your thoughts though. What do you think of Super Loot? What do you think of this box? Good? Bad? Should we continue with it? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you want to grab yourself a Super Loot, I will leave links down below in the description. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button because it really helps you out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.